Good morning, everybody. It is, I believe, August 1st. Yep, August 1st. Cannot believe it. The hunts are almost here. Eric is actually in Kentucky scouting for his whitetail tag, and Brian's out of town right now, so I thought I'd run up the canyon, do a little scouting. We're gonna start in the truck this morning. There's a couple spots I like to glass from the truck, and then we'll do a little hike. Uh, adventure to get an, uh, another couple angles but welcome to today's video just like gonna be a nice short scouting video hopefully we see some some mule deer that we can get the phone scope on and uh, get some cool video Last really quick from the truck saw a couple deer but the lighting wasn't great uh, while they were out so now I've begun my hike it's so pretty up here in the summer you could see kind of in that uh, short stunted pine high alpine type terrain big basins open faces hopefully some big bucks we'll just uh, cruise up this this ridge right here, get to our vantage point, and then we'll start glassing. All right, just sat down. A little glassing point not too far of a hike honestly from my truck uh, this spot's pretty easy to glass from and you can see a lot of country I expect we'll see we'll see a lot of deer today uh, it's still pretty early in the morning a lot of spots are still shaded so get the old vortex up and get to work see what we can find So far, not too bad of a morning. I've uh, seen a few different groups of bucks. Nothing giant, but really good bucks, um, or really nice bucks for the area. One heavy, like two by three, big framed buck, just really bad genes. Uh, handful of smaller deer, and then a couple like three by fours and four pointers. Just kind of scattered around groups of three and four. Well, I figured I'd give you guys a quick rundown of my setup that I'm running this summer and today as well uh, for summer glassing. So I've been packing this nice puffy. This is the, the new gray that First Light has out. This is the Uncompagre 2.0 puffy. Uh, pretty dang lightweight. I like how the sleeves are cuffed too, so it's a nice tight fit around the wrist. Uh, but it's a good, good one to throw on because even in the summer it does get a little chilly. As for the optics, as usual, running the Vortex Razor HD. Got some good zoom on that scope with that uh, extra power. Let you get in real tight, so glassing big basins, this uh, spotting scope is a good setup to go with. I know some guys, when they go high country and back country, like to maybe carry a smaller scope, but really for me, the weight difference isn't that big of a deal. Um, I would rather be able to zoom in really tight onto an animal and know what I'm looking at So that's why I've been running this guy as big a scope as I possibly can 
uh, just because the footage is that much better and it's nice to be able to really confirm what an animal is. Next very important piece of equipment is the phone scope. You can see, got the custom hush uh, case. I run an Android, yes, don't make fun of me. Androids I always thought got the best video, but now phones are so dang good, uh, I'd say it's pretty much sixes. Maybe the Android's still a little better, but um, that's what I've been rocking. And that's what we get all of the footage with, all the deer footage that I got today was with the phone scope. Then maybe the last thing that I have with me today that I would say is a very important tool for summer scouting is a good set of boots. I'm running the Crispy Nevadas right now, currently. These guys have seen better days. They got me through shed season, but I've put hundreds of miles on them in just uh, the last couple months, so they're pretty beat up. It's probably time to get a new pair. I threw in a different insole when I bought the shoes, a little more high arch support, uh, but other than that, the boots have been freaking awesome. So Crispy Nevadas are what I'm rocking right now, and I'll probably continue to rock through the fall. Not a bad beginning to the morning, but I think I'm gonna move up and try to get a different glassing point. Just get a little bit different angle into this basin. Uh, opening week of Utah's archery deer hunt will be spent. We've hunted here for a number of years, all of us. Uh, you usually see us up at High Country Deer Camp, it's called. But that's what this unit is that I'm scouting right now. So this is for the upcoming hunts. Any deer we see is one we could potentially hunt. Uh, but what's cool about this area is you can see a nice trail. There's a lot of trail systems actually in this mountain range. And if you get to know the trail systems, getting around can be pretty dang quick actually. That's one thing I've done. It's actually gotten on my Onyx maps and uh, all the trails are marked on there. And what I've done is just kind of did my homework, studied, sat down, and checked out all the different trail systems that connect. And that's how I've done a lot of my scouting this year, is bouncing back and forth, using trails to side hill, cut corners, and save myself some energy. Well, looks like we got some deer sign up here. There's actually a pretty good game trail right here, as you can see, going in and out of this timber patch into this little opening clear cut. Um, it's not very big, but it provides just enough window for me to see that way into a big face. So I'll probably sit down right here real quick, do some more glassing, see if I could see anything different. It's always good to get a couple different angles. The deer usually move into the trees pretty quick in the morning. There's always a few that are trickling around and uh, it's nice to uh, get a couple different angles just in case one's hiding in a spot you couldn't quite see. It's funny, I don't have a trail camera up here, unfortunately, that we could check, but um, I do have a cell camera that's out in a different location, and it's been sending me photos. So this is the Stealth Cam Command app, and this is where you run and operate any of the wireless cameras by Stealth Cam. You can go to it and do camera setup. That is where you separate and do all of the custom settings that you would typically do from your camera but now it's all ran through an app and you can tell you when you want to upload photos I'm doing twice per day it'll send you all the photos twice per day or you can also set it to an hourly once per day instant whichever you prefer but let's check out what kind of photos we got coming in looks like a couple there's a deer got ourselves a doe coming in <laughs> a couple raghorn bulls, let's see. You can see one one over there in the corner. One in the bottom corner. 
There you go, you can kind of see them there, just like a small four point. But that's pretty cool, you don't have to go check your dang cameras, you could just sit on your butt, glass a different area, and get notifications on your phone of what's walking around. I think it's a huge thing for uh, saving time, energy, and being more effective and efficient with your scouting. I made a quick IGTV video on our Instagram a couple weeks ago. I uh, don't know if you saw that, but uh, I kind of go over setting up the wireless camera, how to and how, how it's ran. But check this out, we got a paraglider. <laughs> how random is that to just have come cruising by in the high country? That is a first for me. I didn't know they did that up here. I saw one. I saw a shadow go by me and then um, I saw one go by and then that one that I just barely caught on film, the yellow guy. That's what I need for getting up on these peaks and then getting down. Uh, I'll ditch the e-bike. No need for that. Just paraglide down. Well guys, I think that's going to be it from the high country today. The sun has come up now and the deer action is starting to slow down. Everything's getting into the shade to uh, escape the heat. I think I'm going to uh, enjoy myself a Mountain Ops protein bar and uh, hit the road. I got to go home and edit this video. It's actually going up today. So this was shot, produced, and posted all in the same day. Um, too bad Eric couldn't be here, but like I said, he's scouting in Kentucky. So it was just me today. But that's cool, divide and conquer. As usual, all the gear and products I use today, we have a discount for if you guys are interested. They're all in the description box below. And don't forget to shop Hush Gear. The Can-Am giveaway is still going on for another week or two. and. Any dollar spent on the website gives you an entry to win that Can-Am Defender side-by-side. -side. That's a pretty dang sweet deal. And somebody's going to come away with a steal, like a trailer included. You're fully set up. I'm, I'm jealous. I want one. <laughs> but uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next video.